I started CBGB's because my intent was uh, to do what I thought would be the popular, coming popular music of the country, which was country music. So that's why it's, you know, CBGB stands for Country Bluegrass Blues. As soon, I guess it was, it was evident that there weren't enough new, interesting um, country-type bands in the area to really do a consistent job. I, I guess by the summer I saw there were a lot of a lot of bands by the summer of uh, '74, and by the fall I think uh, uh, let's say uh, Blondie. The Ramones. When we started out in 74, there was nowhere to play in New York that you could do your own stuff or original stuff. They were nice guys, but they were, you know, like a rowdy bunch and uh, from Queens. And uh, I think after a while, I'd say with the Ramones, after, you know, a few months, they gradually developed the style. It was not just another loud, raucous, Rock band. The acoustics are amazing. It's like it sounds like a, a sound studio, you know. This is the amplifier. This is the amplifier. Best trip of the day. Well, it's a very wide bandwidth PA. The board is really has really good EQs on it, and you know the the staff is too. You know, there's dedicated staff always on hand mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. tune the house and keep it together. Oh. We try to help cultivate a lot of artists, a lot of bands, and as they come out of here and they talk about it, you get to be known. I'm not that concerned with the moshing. The kids take care of themselves. Bands govern it, and uh, when they couldn't handle it and we couldn't handle it, we stopped. I don't want anybody getting hurt. And the purpose in having this place is not to have history, but to find and develop uh, new artists. I mean, that's the joy. I mean, the joy isn't in I mean, making history. If it is history, it's, that's, that's the whole thing. I mean, the real excitement is to just hear something when it's just so good. It's just a pleasure. You have no idea you know, how it is to find a band that nobody ever heard